Lily! Lee! Shoot this fucker! Shit. Thanks. It wasn't me! Good going, kid. Nice shot. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Previously on The Walking Dead. Oh. I'll just be going. You can't let him leave. He's from Crawford. If he goes back there and they find out we're down here. Are you from Crawford? They don't lie to me. I know. Where Shut else can he be from? Everywhere else around here is dead. I think you better start talking. Came here with a small group hoping to find a boat. I just want to get out of here. But you just let me go. Kenny? Oh, hey, you made it back. Good job. Good job. What the hell do you think you're doing? That man drunk. What does it look like? What were you doing in there? Exploring. And look, look what I found. Leave Ben. I'm leaving Ben. Sorry. Hold up just a sec. You ready? Ready. Hey, whoa, hold on a minute. You're not taking her with us. Did you not hear anything I said about the kind of place Crawford is? If you take her in there and they find her. No. This isn't up for debate, Vernon. Decisions made. For what it's worth, I don't think it's a great idea either. She's coming. Deal with it. You heard the man. Let's move out. Let's do the damn thing. Like I said, I feel like Ben is going to f*** something up. Y'all like that introduction? You like that new intro? It was fire, right? <laughs> it was fire. It was fire. So I'm going to let it be known right now, man. I recorded this video five days ago. So, I wanted to do this little quick introduction for y'all because, well, for one, it's one in the morning, you know? And two, I want to show off the new introduction. But y'all already know, bro, I'm not finna say too much because I'm gonna let my previous self handle it from here. But I just wanna let y'all know, man, I hope y'all enjoyed this episode. It's gonna be popping, it's gonna be hot. Because honestly, last episode, it was okay. But this episode is finna be fire. So y'all already know what y'all gotta do, bro. I'm already gonna say it in a previous video. With my previous self, but I'm gonna say it right here, bro. Sit back, relax. Sit back on the couch, man. Watch you get you some chips, some popcorn, some soda. Nah, forget that, man. Get you some smart water, man. You gotta hydrate on water, y'all. Drink some H two O, baby. You know what I'm saying? It's why, why we even why we even talking about H two O? I got y'all. Hold on. And sit back, and relax, and watch the video, bro. I'm gonna let my previous self take it from here. You know what I'm saying? Hope you guys enjoyed this video, man. And I'm Audi five thousand. What up, peeps? KJ Drifties in. Uh, building, and we back with another episode of The Walking Dead. <laughs> back with another episode of The Walking Dead. Honestly, this is a back to back episode. You know, I'm, I might as well just make another back. I, I thought to myself, maybe I should just do another one just for the safekeeping, just so I can because it's I really want to know what's going to happen next. So that's what we're doing right now, man. As y'all already know. The story is getting pretty cool. Last episode was very chill. I already know, man, what's finna get it going. We're gonna see what's gonna go. Honestly, I think something is very fishy, bro. I don't trust nobody right now. Somebody's hiding something, and something's gonna go down. I don't think not many people are gonna make out of this alive. So we're gonna see how this goes, man. So you already know what you gotta do. Sit back on the couch and relax. Eat some chips and popcorn, some candy. Get you a get you a seven up, get you a sprite, get you a coke. We finna get it going, man. This episode's gonna be dope. So I'll further ado. Let's jump straight into the video. Let's go. All right, so we're going to go looking down. We got some books. All right, look no at this. power, no TV. Pretty much. Okay, look at some books. Might come back for these later. Okay, that's cool. Any reading material would be nice once we get on that boat. All right, so we got to figure out what to do next. We got everything, but okay. Talk to Bree. Bree. Hey Lee, 
Thanks for all your help back there. I don't think we would have made it without you. No problem. We're all on the same team. So you're a cancer survivor, like Vernon and the others. Yeah, I was diagnosed when I was in college. Been getting treatment ever since. Just when I was starting to get better, when I thought there might be some hope, all this happened. Lost my whole family. I'm the only one who survived. Damn. Funny how things work out, huh? Crazy. How long have you known Vernon? That's crazy. A couple of years. He ran our support group. He was really great helping me come to terms with my disease. But how do you come to terms with something like this? With a place like Crawford? I don't know what I or, or the other survivors would have done without Vernon. He's the one who held us together. Kept us alive. What do you think about this whole Crawford situation? I'd rather not talk about it. Too many awful memories. Even being back here gives me a bad feeling. Even now, with everyone dead? I got no sympathy for what happened to these people. They weeded out the sick and the old. Even children. Those least able to defend themselves so that they could save their own skins. Whatever happened here, however Crawford fell, I consider it poetic justice. Damn, girl, that's cold. <laughs> that's how I feel. <laughs> Why? what I've seen. What? You'd feel the same. What? Why he said it, bro? He said it just like I'm a... I'm a little busy here, Lee. Maybe you should go get that battery or help with the medicine. I ain't gonna lie. I hate to say it, bro. He said it just like a nigga, bro. <laughs> Damn, girl. That's cold. Come on. Come on, bro. Hey, I hate... Come on, bro. I hate niggas, bro. I hate them. It's gonna get sent. I'm pretty sure... Y'all know what I said because I censored out, but come on, bro. That That's... Wow. Come on, bro. I hate N-words, bro. You okay, Clem? Yeah. This desk is just like the ones we have in my school. Aw. I know it's weird, but I kind of miss it, being in school. <sighs> it's not weird at all. So do I. But you haven't been in school since forever. <laughs> hey, I'm not that old. And I used to be a teacher, remember? American history. Where's Molly? She had to go run an errand. She'll be back soon. I hope she's okay. She'll be fine. <laughs> <It's pretty tough. laughs> I'm not that old. <laughs> Do you think things will ever be normal again? Just like the way they were before? Hell no. Yeah, no idea. I don't think anyone knows the answer to that, Clem. Maybe there's somebody out there working on a way to fix this. Some kind of cure, maybe. There's just no way to know. I hope so. Yeah, unfortunately. That's good. You hold on to that hope. It's the one thing none of this can take away. All right, man. So we're gonna we're gonna get it popping. Let's look at everything. Just a bunch of paste. Have to wonder what's going on in the rest of the world. All right, so let's go see if we can open up the medicine cat. Wait, 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 wait. What's that? That might can be a password to the safe. Damn. What's that on the group? What's that? Shell casings all over. Whatever happened here wasn't good. Shit. <laughs> Kristen Vernon must be trapped in there. Yep. Bow, got him. Bow, got him. Bow, got him. Bow, got him. Bow. <laughs> Kimani Wig, baby. <laughs> what the hell happened? Did she not hear? They wandered into the hallway after we got inside. I think they must have heard us rooting around in here. The whole place is infested. They're everywhere. Calm down. I took care of them. What about the meds? Did we find what we need? Yeah, that's our other problem. Take a look. Wow. Freaking code. Looks like they were keeping all the prescription meds in that safe. Locked up tight. There's no way we can bust it open? Maybe with enough time. But I don't know how much of that we have. Be a hell of a lot quicker if we just knew the four-digit combination. 
Well, I doubt they just wrote it down and left it here for us to find. We should just try busting it open. We don't have any other choice. Okay, you get started. I'll take a look around, see if I can find anything useful. Okay. I like those. I, I love the. Uh, take time to rest later. I think. I like the action. Uh, action sequences. What is this? A copy machine. Not that it matters with no power around here. Just a bunch of papers. No safe combination, though. Looks like some kind of medical file. You pick it up. Anna Correa. Guess she must have been a patient here. And what's this? Yep, we might have a little cold, bro. Phone's probably yeah, hey, that shit is useless. Okay. Oh, crap. How's it coming? Slow. Too slow. I'm worried that by the time we manage to get this thing open, it may be too late. I'll go see if I can find something that'll help us get that safe open. Good idea. Yeah, I really don't want to ask no questions, honestly. Wait! The, the pamphlet. The pamphlet. I didn't... Here, go back. Hey, that family might help us out. We don't know. It might be some stuff that we want, but we also got a tape. So we got to figure out where we can uh, do the... Oh, okay, so that's part... Okay, never mind then. Okay, I thought that was a part of the thing, but it was actually just the door. So now we got to try to figure out where can we use to play the tape recorder because the code may be on that tape recorder or on that tape itself. So we got to find us a tape recorder. So let's do that. Dried blood on this printout and on the floor. Looks like a trail of it from the safe to the camera over there, then out the door. What the hell happened here? All right, so I guess we got to follow that trail. Y'all already checked these drawers? Yes, Lee. Nothing in there worth taking. Already cleaned out. Hey, Krista. Yeah. I've got things to do. Yeah, same here. Okay. Do you think shooting it open would work? Only thing that would accomplish is getting us all killed. So, no, I don't. Oh my goodness, all right. What's this on the floor? It's a sonogram. And it's so much of so much of a not freaking surprise. Wow, so the camcorder is right here. We could have went to this side of the No tape inside. We already have one, so we straight. Vernon, Krista, come look at this. All right, here we go, y'all. Day 82 since the outbreak. 1547. Dr. Logan in consultation with patient Anna Correa. Why are you recording this? Regulations. Oberson has ordered me to keep records of all medical examinations and consultations. I need you to brace yourself, Anna. The sonogram confirms that you're pregnant. Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. As you know, the rules are very clear. The termination is mandatory. You don't wow. have to tell them. Tell them it was just nausea. But you gave me something for it and it went away. This is my problem, not yours. If Oberson finds out that I concealed evidence of a pregnancy, I'm sorry, but these are the rules. I'm going to give you a sedative. It'll make the procedure easier on you. I don't want the procedure. I want my baby. I can't do this. I can't do this. Anna. You don't have a choice. Wow. If you like, you can take some time with this. But I need you to come back no later than tomorrow. Or I'll have no choice but to inform Oberson myself. I'm sorry. Okay, now that right there, I didn't know that happened. That's, that's wicked. Damn it, we almost had it. What the hell kind of place was this? Like Molly said... 
The worst kind. Lee, maybe there's another tape. We gotta keep looking. I think I recognize that doctor. He was one of the walkers out in the alley by the auto shop. Maybe you should search it. See what he's got on him. Alright, well, there you go. So now we're on the search of finding more tapes. But actually, can we go over here? Oh no, we already looked. Okay. Alright, so we gotta actually go right back out of here by going through the exit, so. Let's see what we're gonna un uh, unravel. I know it's finna get wicked, bro. <sighs> Not look forward to this crap, man. Let's go. We gotta hop back over again? Yeah, we do. Oh! Oh, right! Hey, yo, he scared the shit out of me, bro! Damn, did it just fall on him? And hey, that was a good jump scare, I ain't even gonna lie. Ah. Uh... Flick it. Got him. All right, let's search him. Search him. Definitely the guy. All right, so we search him. It's hard to give us that option instead of looking at him. Ah, oh, snap! Here we this go. Might be just what we need. And what's this? Looks like code. Kind of code, but Vernon said the safe combination was only four numbers. Shit, time to go. <laughs> you got him out of there. You got him out of there. He hella funny. Red Lee's an angle. He's a funny character, bro. Right? He have his funny moments. He, <laughs> he, gotta go. <laughs> Another tape. This one's dated October tenth. That's the day after the first one we watched. Put it in. Ah, oh, snap. Have you made a decision? I thought you said I didn't have a choice. Well, technically you do. You can terminate the pregnancy or leave Crawford. Of course, that would be a death sentence for both you and your unborn child. Maybe that's best. I stayed up all last night thinking about this. Why are we even trying to survive, to keep on living, if this is what it takes, if this is what it's turned us into? I don't make the rules, Anna. Doctor, I'm begging you, please help me. Maybe one day, when things are different, you can try again. But for now, today, we have to do this. Wow. Wow. I think we know what happened to Crawford. More importantly, we got the combination. <laughs> Krista, are you all right? What's wrong? It's nothing. That was just hard to watch. Don't worry about me. I'm fine. All right. Wow. Let's get those meds and get the hell out of here. This game is crazy, bro. We're in business. Antibiotics, morphine. We'll take as much of this as we can carry. Okay, I think we're good. This is more than enough for your people and mine. Let's go. You go on ahead. I want to make sure we didn't miss anything. I'll be right behind you. Don't take too long. Wow, man. Man, that stuff, stuff sad, bro. It, it's really sad, man. All that stuff. I remember now. You remember how we got that code from that doctor? The locker. This must have been his locker. We had the code to that, remember. A 
videotape? And we have another tape now. Like I said before, I'm, I know what this tape is going to be because, like I said, when I was trying to figure out how to do certain parts because I was stuck, it actually spoiled it through the title. So, I'm not really sorry. I, I, don't, I don't know how it's going to happen, but I know what's going to happen just by looking at the title. But for people who never knew about that, who never knew about this secret tape, here you go. First time for everything, right? Wow. Listen, as fun as this was, I have to put a stop to this little arrangement. This is the last I can give you. Why? Overson had someone down here yesterday taking inventory. He's really cracking down. I just can't risk it. We had a deal. Yes, we had a deal. We don't anymore. My sister needs this medicine. Without it, she'll die or she'll start showing symptoms and they'll take her away. I can't let that happen. I'm sorry, Molly. I've done all I can, but I have to look out for myself here. Yeah, that's the Crawford way, isn't it? Wow. It's crazy. Stop. Well, shit. What she had to do to get medicine for her, for her own, bro, huh? That's so scandalous, bro. And it's like... And it didn't even have to be an apocalypse. It's like, you know, things like this, those type of stuff probably ha like happens on a daily of them, you know, of people doing things that they don't want to do in order to make sure, you know, they can do the best what's good for their family or, Jesus Christ. oh my God, she scared the sh shit out of bro. Me. Exactly. Where the fuck have you been? Sightseeing. Oh, I'll take that battery now. Oh, yeah. Uh, about that. I'm just kidding. Here you go. She played too much. <laughs> she played too much, bro. What's that? Nothing. You can quit with the act, Molly. I know you're from Crawford. What? Who told you that? I saw you on a security tape. Why'd you lie to me? I said there were stories about Crawford. I never said that's how I knew about it. I never lied to you, and even if I did, so what? I don't owe you anything. You saved my life twice, but you can't tell me the truth? Are we really gonna do this now? I guess that's up to you. I used to live here with my sister. Yeah. She was 14 years old. When the dead started walking and Crawford shut itself in, it seemed like a pretty good deal at first. We were safe. We had everything we needed to survive. Then the rules started coming down. No one who couldn't justify their place or in their keep. No one who required special care. My sister was diabetic, and by Crawford's rules, that made her a liability. Wow. I kept it a secret. Kept her safe for as long as I could. But in the end, I couldn't protect her. That's when I got out. Crawford, they always talked about how their system worked. How anything was better than becoming one of them. But I saw what they'd already become. I just wish I could have seen it before it was too late. Before they came and took my sister away. Yeah. This is all I have left of her. I didn't have time to take it before I got out of Crawford. <laughs> I don't I care. <laughs> It's okay, Molly. That's Scanlon. I don't care. She's pretty. What the hell? I think that's our cue to get the hell out of here. Whoa. Oh, Jesus. Ben. Sorry, sorry. I just got spooked by those bells, and then I heard someone coming. What the fuck are you doing out here? Kenny and I still can't get the door open to the armory. He sent me out to look for something we can use to bust it open. I found this. Uh, Ben? Where did you get that? I just found it. It was stuck in the door handle at the end of the hallway back there. You... Oh, shit! Oh. You 
idiot. <laughs> He's such a dumb. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh, Molly. Oh, no, Molly. Lee, shoot this fucker. Thanks. It wasn't me. Good going, kid. Nice shot. Oh. Oh. <laughs> hey. Hey. That's what I'm talking about. They're coming. Oh shit. Our daughter, bro. Did our thug Dizzle? Now how do we get out? Armory. We can just get this damn door open. Come on, damn you! He just be doing dumb shit. I swear he do dumb shit. Oh my God, Ben is an idiot. This is my fault. All my fault. What the hell's he babbling about? Ben, we talked about this. No, wait. I want to know what he meant. What do you mean this is all your fault? Kenny, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, man. Kid, this ain't the best time. Whatever you did, save it for later. I open the door. I let them in. Ben, we don't have time for this now. I'm sorry, Lee. I can't do this anymore. Oh. He's got a right to know. Know what? Bruh. It's been me all along, putting all of us in danger. Gotcha and Duff, it was all me. It was all me. Wait a minute. What are you saying? It was me who made the deal with the bandits at the motor inn. Slipping oh my I thought maybe I could God. Back. When it got discovered, that's when they attacked. And that's when Duck. Oh shit. Kick his ass later. Enough. Calm down, man. You little pisshead. You're fucking dead. You hear me? Oh my, my God. Wife and child, you got to both fucking kill. Kenny, I said calm the fuck down. Oh my God. Nice group you got here. Hi, <laughs> <that> Molly. <laughs> this asshole thinks he's getting on my boat after what he did. He's out of his motherfucking mind. You hear me, shitbird? You can stay behind and fucking rot! Kenny, we'll sort this out later. After we get out of here, okay? Ain't nothing to sort out. I just told you the way it's gonna be. The boat's not big enough for all of us. Somebody's gotta get left Oh away. my god. Be this piece of shit right here. Well, I vote we leave him. I'm sorry, Ben. I know you mean well. But all I want to do is get back to Omid, and you put that at risk. Wait, don't I get a vote? Of course you do. Ben's nice. He's my friend. We don't leave friends behind. That's my vote. Ah! On second thought, I think I'm gonna. Yeah, I got. I, I I gotta go. I got. <sighs> I've seen enough of Crawford to know that becoming like them is the beginning of the end. I vote Ben stays with us. Uh, hey, I'm kid, bro. Hey, kid, bro. I'm sorry, bro. Clint, you know I'm a sucker for Clementine, bro. I got, I'm a sucker for Clementine, bro. I'm a sucker for it, bro. When she says so, you got, you gotta go with her, bro. I hate Ben. I hate him. I hate him. he's a idiot. He's a dummy. Ah, uh, but Clementine said we gotta keep him, bro. Damn. Oh, I hate being a sucker for Clem. What about the rest of us? Don't we get a say? <laughs> oh! Oh my god! No! Oh! Now can we go? Damn right. Vernon, come on! <laughs> what the f So much for the armory. What's left of it? Damn. A few rounds. That's it. You didn't close that door behind us? I couldn't. The lock was busted. Great. Just fucking great. Come on. There's got to be a way out down here. Jesus Christ. He died, bruh. <laughs> Fuck! It's not going to hold. Back upstairs. Lee, look! Ah, come on! Back up! Back up! Yeah! 
here, back up, back up, check up, bow, back up, bow, back up, what you thought, what y'all thought, move, yeah, come on, light him up, light him up, baby, light him up, baby, no way, pull leg, pull leg, shit, pull leg, no, Lee, 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 come on, bro, come on, big dog, come on, big dog, Come on, bruh. Back up, bruh. Oh, God, bruh. Let's go. Oh. Let's go. Let's do the damn thing. Bow! Right in the head. Get up out of my face, punk. Do it again. Bow! Do it like, just like that. Come on, come on. Hit him. Bow! Kick him. Let's get it. Man, come on, we going, bruh. We coming through like John Wick with the zombies, bruh. Like John Wick with the zombies, bro. Bow. <laughs> We're like John Wick with the zombies, bro. Any way out of here? This leads to the roof. We might be able to find a way down from there. You didn't come into town from the railroad, did you? Yeah. Why? Never mind. I can see the sewer where we came in from here. I think we can do this. Well, what are we waiting for? Go, Let's go! go. Alright, we gotta go. Yeah, come on, let's go! I hate Kenny. I hate him. I hate this man. Oh my god, bro. Oh my sorry. We both know. No. Let me go. Oh my god, bro. Can't, bro. We made a promise to Clementine, bro. We made a promise to Clementine, Kenny. I'm sorry, kid. Hey, I'm sorry, dog. We made a promise, Mr. dog. Everything okay? Oh, me. Clem, stay back. Don't get any closer. I never should have left you. I'm so sorry. Krista, get away from him. Uh, hey. Back already? We got you medicine. Good. I feel like I could use some. You okay, kid? You look worse than I do. We almost didn't make it out of there because of this asshole. <laughs> Should have left him behind when we had the chance. Guys, what hey. the hell happened out there? Let someone else tell you. I got work to do. Okay, with a little luck, you should start feeling better pretty soon. I'll stay here for a few more hours to check. Damn, bro, this is this is Let crazy. Me know if you need anything. This was crazy. Talk. Yes, thank you so much. Oh man, this is crazy. Maybe now's a good time for you and me to have a little talk in private. Ah, uh, shit. Listen, man, about what happened to Bree. Please, save your sympathy for someone who's buying it. What? You don't think by now I got you figured? You don't strike me as someone who has a lot of consideration for others. Look at what you did to get me to come here with you in the first place. 
You expect me to believe you give a shit that it wound up costing Bree her life? Now just hold on a damn minute. Listen. No, you listen. You got some good people here, and they look to you as their leader. Well, I'm here to tell you the kind of leader you are. They're not gonna make it much longer. And you're kidding yourself if you think putting them all on a boat is gonna solve anything. Now, you may not care about all of those people, but I know you care about that little girl. Which is why I'm gonna make you an offer. What kind of an offer? I'll take her off your hands. Take her back with me, to my people. We're well supplied, well hidden, and a lot of us have had kids of our own. And now Crawford's fallen, we got nothing left to fear from them. She'll be safe with us. Safer than she will be if she stays with you, I promise you. That's what you want for her, isn't it? To be safe? I'm gonna pretend you didn't say any of this and give you a chance to walk away, which you ought to do right now. I know you think you're doing what's best for her. And if you were her real father, we wouldn't be having this conversation. But you're not, are you? Just another one of your lies. That little girl's in my care. We've been through more together than you can imagine. Anyone who tries to get between me and her, anyone, is gonna wind up dead. You hear me? Take your hands off me. Damn. But it's just like, how are you gonna tell me? Going somewhere? Yeah, I'm about to head out. I, I just wanted to say thanks for everything. It's been fun. What are you talking about? Kenny's working on the boat right now. Thought you were coming with us. God knows you earned it. Yeah, I've been thinking it over. It's not for me. Sounds like it'd be pretty crowded, and I never did like the water. You sure about this? Yeah. I'm sure. I've always done better on my own, anyhow. Listen, I'm not much for goodbyes. Tell the others for me? Sure. You take care of yourself, Molly. You too, Lee. And in a sense, bro, it's like, what the fuck can you... You be sure to take care of that little girl. You know she thinks the world of you. Good luck. Ain't nothing to do with luck. <sighs> Crazy. Hey, sweet pea. Kenny's working on the boat. I know. What are we going to do after he fixes it? Where will we go? Someplace else. Someplace better. Clem, honey, what's wrong? Is Ben going to be okay? He doesn't seem the same since he got back. Ben's a good kid. I think he's just feeling guilty about some of the decisions he's made. He's getting a feeling like he's a burden on the rest of us. Before we leave tomorrow, will we have time to look for my parents? We can't, Clem. I'm sorry. But they're in Crawford somewhere. They have to be. Clementina. Are they real, bro? I know you don't want to give up on them. But Crawford's just like every other place now. If your parents are there, they won't be like you remember them. And they won't remember you at all. <laughs> Come on, see? That's what I'm saying, bruh.
Damn. Clementine? Clementine! Oh, God. What the hell? You got the hat, bro. What the hell? What the? Finn? What the hell? Yo, what the hell is going on? Or is this a dream? Oh! out here it ain't safe lee where's clementine she's not in her room vernon ain't in the house either what the hell is going on whose blood is that it's mine oh my god no way no no fucking way there's no time to worry about me clementine's gone there's no chance she just wandered off on her own no no way then who the hell took her i don't know Last night, Vernon came to me and offered to take her with him. Said she'd be better off. Son of a bitch. I knew we couldn't trust that fucker. Wherever she is, I have to find her. Okay. What do you need from us? Clementine's my responsibility. Can't ask any of you to risk your lives over this. This is something I have to do alone. We're all responsible for Clementine. And in your condition, you may not make it to her in time. She needs our help. All of our help. Damn right. We can't let you do this alone. So that's settled then. We'll look for Clementine together. Hell yeah. What are we waiting for? Wow. Thanks, you guys. I appreciate it. Really. You've always been there for me. Why that nigga looked at him? You always had my back when it mattered. What kind of friend would I be if I wasn't there for you now? Bitten or not, I'm with you to the end. That's what I'm talking about, man! Me. Can he a real? No, he a real N-word, bro! Hold on a minute. You're not really thinking about bringing him with us, are you? Deal with it, Kenny. The way I see it, Ben still has a chance to make things right. If he wants it. How about it, Ben? I don't know. Whatever you think is best. Clementine's one of the few good things left in this world. She stood up for you and Crawford when Kenny wanted you gone. Don't you think you owe it to her to stand up for her now? You're right. I owe her. I want to do this for Clem, but I want to do it for Kenny, too. I gotta make it right with him. Somehow, I gotta make it right. Okay, guys, we should go find Vernon, see if he took her. Let's head out. What about the boat? We just gonna leave it unguarded? If someone was gonna take it, they'd have done it already. Besides, what choice do we have? Ah, oh, damn. It's going down, bruh. It's going down, bruh. Oh my god. Yo.
Where the hell are they? Looks like they got out of here in a hurry. Vernon! Get out here! There doesn't have to be any trouble here! All I want is the girl! Give her back and nobody needs to get hurt! What's going down? Clementine, are, are you all right? Where are you? Vernon, you son of a bitch! Holy. Who is this? It's not Vernon, if that's what you're thinking. And you should really watch your tone. Clementine's fine. But if I were you, Wow. Wow. Oh my God, what the f Oh my God. This is crazy. The boy in the attic, did you kill the uh, boy in the attic? You and 75% of players did not kill him. Did you lie or threaten Vernon? Hypocrite oath? Threatened or lied to him? Home Alone, did you bring Clementine with you to Crawford? If you and 55 uh, other players brought her? For whom the bell tolls, did you let Ben fall to his death? 53% of you players pulled him up. <laughs> did you reveal your bite to the group? 82 showed the, yeah, I mean, just show the bite. What's the f Point. We kept it real, bruh. You might as well keep it real, bruh. <sighs> Let's look at the shit. Who came to you? Who came with you? Oh. 11%, 14%, 16%, 6% was a solo. 18 Wow. I had the whole pack rock with me. Oh my lord, y'all. That's crazy. This was a fucking insane episode, bro. Oh my god. Like, I can't even explain what's going to go down. Oh my lord, bro. Oh my gosh, bro. This is bananas, man. Oh, uh, I don't even know what's going to go down, bro. Episode 5. It's the last one, y'all. It's the last one, I think, for season 1. Oh my Jesus, I don't know what's going to go down, bro. There y'all have it, bro. That was the end of episode four. Honestly, this is by this series, man, is literally insane. I can honestly say I'm going to I'm going to hold my choices of words to when we actually finish the whole thing. But so far, bro, it's phenomenal. Honestly, should have played this back in the day when this was popping off, but I'm very happy that I'm able to play this right now where everything's all already out for us compared to back then where you have to wait every single whatever how long it took for the next one to come out. But, bro, this is crazy, man. If you guys enjoyed this video, bro, give this video a lot of 10 minutes. Give the video 10 likes, bro, please. 15 at most, bro. You got to because this is going crazy. 15 for Clementine, bro. 15, no, fuck that. 20 for Clementine, bro. We have to, bro. Cause this is an insane freaking story oh my god bro thank you guys so much for watching man if you guys enjoyed this video man give this video a big thumbs up 20 likes for Clementine bro on top of hit the notification bell so you gotta get notified each other with your boy do and I'll see y'all in the next one <laughs>